All right, I thought we'd have a look at uh, some RX100 lenses. I think these came from the M3. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are from the M3. But I thought we'd look inside, you know, just to have a look. This one came out of a camera that was stuck. And this thing is really stuck. I haven't tried to uh, move it. But this one took the cable off, took the screws out. And uh, you can see that if this one's opened into that same position, this part of that lens is shoved back. And it is really stuck in there. I, I don't know why it's so jammed in there. But this one has all the cables on it. And we can kind of like... Uh, just have a look inside of them and see what the RX100 lens looks like. So there's your uh, focus thing. That's how that works. Slides a little uh, railing system there. Looks like it has some little magnet there, that sensor thing. focuses see I think that's magnetic yeah it's got a magnet on it there and then so here's the <clears throat> here's the inside of the lens little gears and everything of course the big gears been pulled out already and let's see to get this apart I think you have to get these lint, these cables here through, and these things, like on this one, this one already has the cables on there. So when you're taking this lens apart, you got to get under this stick them stuff here and pull those cables out. And do you see how small they plug in? these little cables and so you pull these out you gotta get the lens to go all that way but see since this cables off it's gonna be you're gonna be messing with this kind of stuff with all the cables on there so you gotta be real careful all this is gonna be connected and you kinda gotta just fold it over like that lay that down get the lens to zoom in and then do what I'm about to do on this one which is pull these little cables through real easy and they'll fit in there somehow or another that one kind of has a turn on it and don't pinch it and there it comes and let's see this other one it does a loopity loop. It's got like a uh, little thing that holds it there. And I remember this one was kind of hard to get through there. And you can see it's kind of tight. And you don't want to rip them because if you rip them, then it's lens over. But you can uh, fish them through there. I'm not going to be too gentle with this one, but you understand the idea. <laughs> and then you close the lens and just keep pushing up. Oh no, you got to get on this gear here and I think go that way with it. You want to go clockwise with it and then you can just pull that out of there. And see this, uh, all this cable here stuff will be connected to this and then you can just put that aside. And now you got the lens right here. So there's the, the working lens. It should be working. Okay, I don't know what I did to it. It's not collapsing now. Now it feels like it got stuck. Something wrong with this lens. Should collapse right there. 
but anyway let's just have a look inside so is that coming in focus there is the lens on the inside you got your little uh, what's that thing called uh, this right here is a little focus thing kind of stabilizer goes beep, moves around and keeps it stabilized so that's the stabilizer lens right there and then here's the focus thing and let's see if we pull this out and kind of turn it let's see how does that come out does that thing got a I don't think that matters. But it just keeps on looping around. Okay, there's that ring. And you see this little white thing right here? That's like some kind of little bushing. It's like a Teflon bushing. It has a spring behind it. So you don't want that to fall out and the little spring is real small little spring so you don't want to lose that. And so there's the inside lens. There's the outside, there's the inside and this is just a ring that goes on there I think. And I think you can pull these off to get to if you heat this up because it has stick them right here on the outside and sometimes you can just pull them this one's stubborn of course this is not the normal way you would do it heating it up is much easier but as for the sake of this video come on off of there but you can see it's starting to come off the longer you hold it that way and that stick them will loosen up well this one's really on there Okay, come on. It's slowly coming off. Just gotta hold it. So you put some heat on this right here and it come off real easy. So we'll come back to that. So there is the, Ooh, look at that that thing got springs in it so that's gonna be that's uh gonna be real hard to uh, work on you got three springs in there the cables running through it so that's gonna be real difficult to work on so now you gotta reline those springs on there get all that to uh, line up I remember I did a Nikon lens that had the springs like that in there and you have to to get them to go back in kind of put a string on them and they just loop up here and you see that little loop right there and if you get a string on it and just re-loop them but for the sake of this video we're just going to uh, pull them if I could figure out how this thing come back out. This thing is strange. It just there it goes. So let's uh let's see what they got. You see it's got a little loop on it. It's not that big of a spring. There's one of them. There's another one. And then you got, what else you got in here? Uh, let's see, how does this come out? It's gotta come out somehow. It keeps turning and it keeps turning. It come out the front, there it goes. 
So what do we got here? We got another lens, and I think that's the uh, shutter thing or the filters you see there. Got the filters on there, and I bet you can somehow move those. Is that the lever? Oh, let's take that off. How does that come off? No, well, we're just going to have to pull it. It's on there pretty strong. I got to give them that. Nope, that one broke. Well, it's pretty heavy duty stuff there. And there's got uh, that lens is dipped in. And that looks like some little motor there. But this is all that uh, filters and whatnot. Let me see if I can get that to move. There it is. That's like the shutter, I guess. And you can see one of those little filters right there. I don't know how that one pops out. Let's see if that moves it. There's a filter right there. I don't know how to move that one. So, uh, pretty interesting stuff for the RX uh, 100. Now, I think these are the uh, the M3 and M4 lens. Might have to get some pliers on this suckers. Really stubborn. But it's slowly coming off. And there it comes. Now you're gonna break my nail. Oh, there it is. There's the sticky stuff. And now you can take this off and this is what you have to do if you have these little outside shutters messed up then you come in here and you take this off to fix your outside shutters if they get all bent or something and these are pain to try to get fixed again and set back in there because they got also little springs on them and everything and sometimes when they get out of whack man it's just not worth messing with because you'll never get them to act right again if you mess with those, it's better just to get another one that works and snap it back in place. I mean, you see how it just falls apart. It's very hard to put back together. But if you got the time, you can get it back together. And there's the lens. So you can see the holes that are in this lens. I mean, this thing don't have any kind of dust cover. It just sits on there like that. Then you got this ring here. And that's how them lenses get all dusty because you got all these holes in it. I mean, look at the holes that are in this thing. There's not any really a uh, bunch of sealing and everything. They get dirty easy. So there's your RX100 lens. And that's what it, uh, all the parts, when it comes apart, that's what you'll end up with. And then you can have fun putting it back together if you can figure that out. Look at that, that cable goes all the way through that thing there. Pull that off, pull that off. And that's sticking. So that's, uh, there's your stabilizer. so there it is so I just wanted to uh, show you that's what the insides of an RX 100 lens looks like so there it is so I guess I'm gonna wrap this up on right here and this one this lens here I'll keep aside <laughs> but there it is RX 100 lens that's what's inside all right I'm gonna wrap this up here all right I'm out